Hey YouTube, so um, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to read uint or unsigned integers from Cosmos since the uh, console.read does not have its own method that will read integers or any kind of number we're just going to build one so um, we're going to make it a method so we want to do public static because we're not going to be using objects to uh, once the word access it, we don't. We just want to make it static. If you didn't have it static, you'd have to make an object, and I'm not going to get into that because it's just annoying. And we'll make it uint because it's that's what it's going to return, and we're going to call it read uh, read num. And it's going to take a few different parameters. Um, we're not going to do this just as a test. You could do it just like. Uh, read it as a character array, and then test the first element as, is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, and then, you know, make it like that. We're not going to do that, we're just going to uh, make a loop. So what you want to do is you want to take, first of all, um, a uint start, and a uint end. And then a uint called default. And I'll explain these as we go through it. Oh, and I can't use default because it's a keyword. So default. There we go. Did I spell it wrong in this? Oh, what? Yeah, it's letting me because I spelled it wrong. Awesome. So now what you want to do is you want to create, first of all, a uint called a and a string called user input. And set user input equal to console dot read line. And then what you want to do is you want to make a for loop. And we'll just call int i equals start. And while i is less than or equal to end, i plus plus. Actually, we don't want it i, we want we just want to use A. My bad. So we already kind of screwed that up. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do it like... One sec, why is it not letting me do this? Internet read. Oh. Always remember method parameters. And then what we want to do is if a dot to string is equal to is equal to uh, user input um, and then return a and then at the end of this just return default because if it hasn't found that a is equal to that uh, a is equal to user input, it um, will just return you know what you said to have as your default. Now this is isn't the fastest way. It just I don't like having to write methods that just use you know a whole bunch of if else statements because I find that they're boring and you don't really need help writing them. So I figured I'd write you know just kind of a short little uh, method that didn't take a whole lot of code, but it does a lot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make kind of a calculator. As you can see, I have console.read.writeline, uh, and it says enter the operation you wish to use, plus, minus, uh, times, or divide. And then it has string operation, and operation equals console.readline. And then I've created two uint unsigned integers called user num and user num2, and then it says console.readline.writeline, and it has the prompt of enter the two numbers you want to use. And sorry if I'm talking a little fast, but... I'm trying to keep my file size as small as possible so that it doesn't take long to upload. And I just kind of wasted time there. So, first of all, user num1 is equal to read line, read num, read num. And uh, we're going to start at 0, and we'll end at 100. So you can use any number from, one to, uh, from 0 to 100. And if it's wrong, like if you input something like a string, just return 101. And where that might be useful is, say, if you had to, uh, at the end, if it 
wasn't correct, like say you were doing some kind of weird operation and you wanted to test whether or not it was inside the parameters, you could just te um, test whether or not it was 101 and then you would know. So read num uh, 0, 100. So that's kind of just your error prompt or your error return. So there we go. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to make um, a couple if statements. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this and then I'm going to come back and after I've written them all because they're just kind of boring. Okay, so now that I'm done writing the if statements, I've already compiled it too so I can just easily switch to uh, the virtual machine to show you it. Um, as you can see, I've written an if statement to see if console, if uh, operation was equal to plus, like it is. Then what it does is it just writes out user not, username 1, username, user num 1 plus user num 2 and uh, puts a two string. Remember to have that two string. And also, remember to have your operation inside of parameters. When you're dealing with two numbers that you want to be, uh, turn into, two, into a, a single string, what you want to do is you want to put the operation inside of parameters, or these uh, brackets, and then you want to have a dot two string. Um, basically, computers work a lot like uh, math. If you think about it, uh, if you've learned about bed mass, brackets, exponents, multiplication, and division, adding, subtracting. And I think I got division and multiplication mixed up, but whatever. Same thing. So, as you can see, you have to make sure you have those brackets there, because otherwise, it would just do username1 plus username2.2 string. So you'd have one string, one number, or if you had them both as two string as um, strings, then it would add the strings together, which wouldn't be good. And I've also got elf else if statements for subtraction, multiplication, division, all with uh, the parameters and the operation. So, let's run it and see what we get. And I probably could have put that in a loop, which would have been nice because it would have sped up my uh, testing, but whatever. I guess I can just restart it every time. So, click inside and let's type in what operation we want to use. So let's start off with something simple, adding. And enter it. What are the two numbers? 50 and 100. Answer, 150, which is correct. Now, let's show you something cool that Cosmos, that computers actually have built in, apparently. So, we're going to do division. And we're going to do 36, just a random number, and 0. Now, we all know that when you divide a number by 0, you, you just can't divide by 0. And if you were, you would get infinity. But what happens is when you do this with computers, it invokes uh, an error that computers run, and it is the division by 0 error. So if I hit Enter, it says system fault division by 0. And computers can't divide by 0. It's not really how they're built. It's not what they're supposed to do. So, that's kind of just a cool thing that they have built in for you when you uh, do those kind of things. And I'll show you one more and then I'll, I'm done because that's 10 minutes. Which So let's do div, uh, multiplication. Let's divide 49 by 72. 3,528. So, um, I really hope that you guys learned from this and you can use this in your program, as you probably will if you want to make, say, a calculator function. Now, um, I want you guys to uh, post in, your co in the comments what you want to see in the next tutorial. Um, it's going to be text-based, so I know all you guys are going to be posting GUI, but I'll be getting into GUIs after I teach you. There's a bit more stuff I think you guys should learn. So I'm thinking uh, kind of a text-based GUI. We'll do first, just showing you guys how you can do graphics even with that. And then after that, we'll probably start GUI. So you know what? Never mind. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and uh, send me personal messages if you have uh, problems. And thanks for watching. I'm probably going to finish the uh, update for XSource OS pretty soon. Uh, once I, if I can figure out, there's a pretty big problem I have with the code, and I'm not sure you can even do what I want to do in C plus, in C sharp, or any language for that matter. So, uh, let's hope.